Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. Previous episode we gained access to a new island where we found two new patients and fries? Hazel wants fries. And Mildred wants a baguette. What is this? A restaurant? You're here to recuperate. Why don't I give you just a frog stool and some butter beans? That's what we had to live on in the beginning as well, you know? Just some frog stools and some butter beans. Today! Well, I think I'm gonna continue on with a quest from Nosh in before I will... Well, do the quest for Gerontius. And do you three really have to be in this place so tied together? Well, he I saw him just ate the sardine, sardine on a stick, so he is actually eating the fish. Okay, watch your... Ugh. <sighs> Talking to you three is a bother, isn't it? With how close everything is here. I really need a bigger uh, cookfire cafe. Um, what favor would it be this time? Go fishing somewhere? What do you mean, dead stare? Okay, I promise. Because if I say no, there is not really some... Uh... Yeah, and I've got my fingers crossed behind my back. Ooh, meat and potatoes? Where did you get that from? Oh? Well, I am flabbergasted. It's not really the steering. Yeah, that may have been my fault. Sorry about that. I did not know that, but I'm also not sure whether that actually is true. Um, you'll only get fat if you do that. Okay, well we've had a barbecue recipe already on the carpenter station for a while, but actually it's commendable that he actually wants to be more smarter. Um, what does that... Oh yeah, I can also build a new naughty light light. Let's make... Wait a second. Let's check something out first. I know, I know, I know, I'm not focused. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. I only have two gold. Well, um, yeah, let, let me, allow me to do this first, please, before I'm continuing on with Notch's, uh, Request. I know, I know, I'm not really focused, but I forgot something last previous episode. I placed this filter fountain, 
but I forgot to tell you how to get pure water. Because if you just stand in the water and then you scoop it, it will just be water. It will not be pure water. What you have to do is pretty much stand up against the filter fountain and then scoop it. And that will give you pure water. That's how you get to some, yeah, to pure water. And I hope they are getting some pure water now as well. That I don't have to do the scooping. Um, but let me take a look. I can now build a ring of immunity. Ooh. That is really enticing. But it will use up all my gold that I have at this moment. The problem is that in all those areas that I'm going uh, now at this moment, I don't actually have to worry about poison that much. Actually, I don't have to worry about poison, I think. Do I? No. I don't think I have to worry about poison at all. So... That would be kind of a waste, I think. Maybe I'll make it later, but... For now, my priorities is... To make... A naughty nightlight. <laughs> and I already know what room to put it in. Hey, Casey. You know, if you're w w working in a pool, at least dress appropriately. Shall we? Uh-uh. <laughs> Well, she is uh, sitting in a pool now. You can't go fully clothed inside into the pool. At least have your swim swimsuit on, okay? And for the barbecue, the brick barbecue, I need. Okay, cook fire. I can get brick wall, rusty nuggets. Ooh, I think I have to go look for that. Well, the cook fire I can grab from that place. But, hey, we've got a new area. Maybe that will offer us if we explore it a little bit more. So, let's see what we can get. You know... Let's start by climbing up, shall we? Um, let's see... Okay... Ooh! I also need that. And I grab some wheat. Which gives me... Porridge? Gooey gruel. But... Actually, I wanted to grab the silver here. Because later that is going to be of more importance. But, I also, one reason I wanted to go up here is to grab the wheat. Because up on this ridge is where you will find wheat. And it's pretty much the, well, most of the wheat Oh, a lot of wheat that you can get in this chapter. Or the only place where you can get the wheat in this chapter. And You guys aren't subtle, are you? Ooh. But I also noticed it's getting late. Okay, like I said... Those guys aren't that subtle, you know. 
Eh, you only give mossy earth. I don't need that. Well, it at least counts to the 200 items that I need to get. Oh, we actually have some plumberry! I originally, when I played this game, first, I thought, hey, I can't do any. This chapter doesn't have plumberry. That's why I only have wood from, uh, from the palm trees. But on top of this range, there actually is some plumberry trees. But you're actually coming up here for some wheat, nothing more. And it's just a base wheat to get us going for a little bit because, yeah, well. You also need to explore a little bit because there are some caves in it, here as well, in this wall. Although I don't see him at the moment. No. I think I have to go down again. Oh, there I see a cave. So maybe we can find brick over there in that cave. Uh, let's see, this would be safer if I go over here, yeah. Um, oh yeah, this is the area again, where over there, in between the trees, on that part, we found Hazel. But now we are actually going, well, to explore. Because we need to find Rusty Nuggets. And we need to find, well, I have no water use for mo Mossy Earth, so... Well, this cave had nothing important, except then, uh... Ooh, are you gonna... Yes, you are going to turn. That's why I thought, hey, this ca uh, chapter has no... Uh, no plumberry trees, because each time I would come close to one, he would... Uh, he would... Uh, oh, crap. I got a dead tree. Oh, my hunger meter has gone down again. That's why you are serving now your crap thing as food. Oh, we get a new type of... Ouch! Bird. Chimera, I mean. But next uh, cave... Well, this cave had ruby and some silver. But that's also a little bit it. Ooh! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, these guys! These guys will put you to sleep. Um, please stay away from them. They are no good. No good at all. Uh, let's put you down there. And then I should be able to get up here. I also need some fibrous fabric again. So, ah! Don't fall. But, yeah, I knew it. There is a... Treasure at the top. That I'm hoping to get. Uh -huh. Ooh, what's that in the background over there? I found myself some rusty nuggets! And I learned how to make a wooden door! And I learned how to make a shovel so we can create a garden again! And I oh, Iron Axe! Finally! That was one I was waiting for. Something more? No. We already knew how to make the Iron Broadsword, so... Now I need to get down from here without too much damage. And also it's getting late, so probably it would be a good idea to find a halfway house. Ooh! Keep this one in mind! This thing is... Huh? 
This one is going to uh, be... Well, it has a uh, another... Hmm. Items. Let's put things away. I don't need you immediately. Neither do I need you, all of you. Quickly, before the ghosts come, so I can go to bed. Whew. This is another halfway house. And this is the halfway house that I am going to use a lot for this island. Uh, so, in order to mark it, let's... Oh, I already have it. That's why I left it. Place that one here. Okay. So we now have rusty nuggets. The only thing we need is bricks. And guess what? We have pretty much a lot of them here. Brick wall blocks. Yeah, this chapter will not allow you to create any. So if you need brick wall blocks, you will pretty much have to scavenge them from this place. Eh, 25 should be enough. Who? Who are you? Oh, these guys. If lucky, they will drop the blue sapphire. Um, but I was actually hoping you would be someone else. Uh, I'm not in the mood for you guys now. Okay, I need to go in a little bit here. I wasn't planning on doing this at first, but I am... Yes, I wanted to find these skeleton enemies. Because there is a reason why, I, why, why you need to fight these guys. Oh, yeah, they come back to life. But they do drop the rusty nuggets. Ouch, 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 ouch. And he comes back to life again. Ah! I'm naked! That's why I brought this one along. I knew. But, yeah. I wanted to in them for these rusty nuggets. And, okay, because the... Because it is just looking at me, I am going to explore this cave as well. Silver Ruby. Probably nothing. Oh, there actually is. There actually is. What do I get? Windows! Yeah, that's also something from the previous uh, chapter that I could not be uh, make. And in this chapter. And I do want it for something. I have 25 windows, more than enough. But there are a couple of rooms or a couple of gardens that I want to make. Now that I have a shuffle. That actually allow me to... Well... that I actually want to place those windows in. Um, this is also everything that I wanted to do for now. I wasn't actually planning on getting deep inside uh, here just yet because I just wanted to make a brick barbecue. That was the important stuff. Usually you have those, uh, how do I say it, those skeletons, also right in front of the, the ancient palace, as it is called. 
but this time it was not. I ne I actually have never seen those uh, those wizards be at the front there. Oh yeah, if you want to replace all these wooden walls with brick walls, you will have to scavenge them. Trust me, that uh, the ancient palace over there has more than enough uh, brick walls to create an entire town out of. But don't expect those brick walls to protect you against uh, various things. Okay, one thing I needed to make was the brick barbecue. I can also make those, don't I? Yeah, but that requires a rusty nugget. Maybe later. That's gonna be at least used to upgrade, well, my rooms. Not that it's gonna matter a lot, but because I've already Oh, I'm missing the cook fire. Duh. Sorry, guys. It's an empty room? What is a light source? Yeah, that's what was what I was wondering. What is the what is the light source? There's no empty room in there uh, there. But I can finally make a brick barbecue and with that I complete the quest hey Nosh hello yes Ooh, salmon and tuna. New fish. Yes, that is a place where we are going to fish a lot again. Uh, I don't think it works that way, but... Wow. That is really commendable. I'm amazed. He actually wants to get smarter so that he can actually and that he can help out with everything. That he can well pretty much well do the part for well, for the village to keep everyone safe and not be so useless. That is commendable. His execution, however, is rather lacking. Um, I am going to make a different... Ew, I need to eat something. I'm going to make a different uh, room here. I am not going to put back the cook fire cafe. But that does mean I have to make this a whole lot larger. Let's see if I have the space. Okay, let's see if I have the space for it. So, first off, let's, let's get uh, the right materials that I need. I do need these, I do, don't need that one, I do need that one. 
Let's see. I need a brick barbecue. I need one chest. I need a pot potted plant. I need an extravagant table. Yes, this table that we brought back from that uh, mansion on uh, the prickly wild. And I need four chairs. I have that. And I need a decorative food. I have that. However, this thing is big. Yeah, it may not look like it when you're... Uh, when we were, well, in that mansion. But here in this village, where you have more limited space, this thing is really massive. So I think for one, I am going to add, I am going to expand it here for a little bit towards there. Okay. Oops. Come on. It ain't that difficult. Okay, let's put down the table first. I do want to place it somewhat in the middle. And you need four chairs. One here. One there. And over there. And let me get to bed. Because it's getting late. Let's see, the brick barbecue. I am going to place that one here and you know, I thought that is actually a cool idea of Nosh to place it a little bit higher upwards. We needed also some decorative food and a potted plant. I think I put the potted plant over here and then the decorative food over there. And with that, we are making a flowery foodery. Yes, you are reading that correctly. I am not kidding you. It's actually called that way. It's a classic cafe fancified with fresh flowers. Residents will cook food and put it in the chest. Prevents your hunger meter. This is pretty much a better cook fire cafe because it is thousand points against what was it three or five hundred uh, for the cook fire cafe? Yeah, but the problem is you have to deal with that huge ass table. That is the biggest issue. Because this one is huge. And it also means I want to place those pots back. Where did I put the pots? There did I put the pots. And I'm gonna place it over here. Because otherwise this will be a little bit too narrow for my taste. And maybe... For the not yet as a decoration take that one out and we had a hey, we had something else as well ah uh, let's decorate it a little bit you know Maybe this isn't at the uh, right position at all. 
Maybe I should just place it here. That's a little bit better, I think. And then... Yep. Uh, let's add a bit of decoration with... Hey! We can... That is something that is should be here. And of course... Every single one of them also needs... Oh, I need crockery again. Some more crockery. But now that I am at the Brick Barbecue, as you can see, we have a lot more menu items once more. I can create porridge, which requires pure water and wheat. I can create a baguette, which requires wheat. And now that I have made the baguette, I know how to make a bread basket. Um, fries! I still cannot do that. I need to find myself a potato first. Or some potatoes. At least five of them. Sailor stew! Rat snapper and tuna. That is something that you will find... Well, near the ancient palace, in the area that I did not want to go just yet. I know. A fresh fish feast. Again, these fish are found near the ancient palace. Sautéed salmon, begonia leaf oil and a salmon. Well, and for the rest I still have everything. Well, I could make a bit of porridge at this moment and let's see if no no nothing new but uh, let's give uh, one of our patients who was uh, thinking they are yeah Mildred you wanted uh, even more let that better be medicine and not uh, not more food. Okay, having done that. And the porridge, what does that do? It fills the hunger meter by 15%. And eh, we've got better. But hey, when I'm in a pickle... I can put that somewhere. Okay, is there anything else that I want to do right about now? Actually, no, I think most of the things is just cleaning up. Of course, she needs some sleep. I've got my naughty nightlight. So the next thing would be Gerontius's uh, quest. But the last few qu episodes have been going on pretty long. With, well, with everything going on. With all the new stuff and uh, and the new uh, hat rooms that I've been making, so this time oh uh, wait I do have something I want to show because remember we got rusty nuggets. I can make a shovel now. I can make an iron broadsword, which has a strength uh, attack of 26. Which is much better than our oaken club of 5 and stone axe of 14. I've been waiting for that. But we can also make an iron axe, which has an attack of 30 and can break very hard blocks. This one I wanted to use because now I can break the blocks that I want to use 
for the walls of this city. And for the rest there's nothing new. But yeah, we've been actually going on a long time without really upgrading our equipment. Our most recent upgrade was the training talks that we got on a second island actually. Uh, after we could uh, make the sewing station. Uh, I want you, I don't want you, don't want you anymore. I am going to use the sword because I really prefer this uh, horizontal uh, arc over the vertical arc. So, yeah, but it's really been a long time. If you think about it back when uh, we were in Cantlin, pretty uh, at the second island, I, when I got the mallet, I learned how to make a stone sword. And not long after, I also gained copper. So a few seconds later, I also made a copper sword. The island after that I got iron and I got an iron sword and Magnus told us how to create a furnace which allowed us to make steel swords. With the mallet it also went from hammer to sledgehammer to warhammer pretty quickly and with our clothing defense and shield we had a ladder uh, we got for after we reached the second island pretty early on then we got the chain mail we got uh, iron mail or something and a full plate mail that was really a lot we haven't had much of an upgrade in our gear and equipment up until now up until we got the iron nuggets so yeah that that actually means a lot and we still haven't the best gear that this chapter has to offer but it did take a long time before we got something decent and also something decent for combat Hence, they got us throwing stones, which are unfortunately highly accurate, but they do do a lot of damage. So, yeah, that's it what I wanted to do for this episode. And it's been also gone long enough. I thank you all for watching. And I, if you like this video, leave a like behind in the comment. Well... And leave a dislike behind if you didn't like it. In the comments below, please give me some feedback on what I might improve. Or what you liked about this video. Um, so it can help me make better videos in the future. I thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye!